Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes you want to create a worksheet that contains several sets of saved values you can easily switch between to compare possible variations of projected data in a worksheet. In Excel, you can save different sets of worksheet cell values as a scenario. Then you can switch between the saved scenarios to compare the potential outcomes. For example, if you wanted to create a worksheet to display different financial projections, you could create different scenarios to project different factors that might happen to change the worksheet's results. You could first create a worksheet that contains the current year's revenues. You could then create scenarios based on that data that show a 5% increase, a 10% increase, or a 4% downturn. You can then switch between these different sets of data as needed. To create a scenario based on your current data, click the What If Analysis button in the Forecast button group on the Data tab of the ribbon. Then select the Scenario Manager command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Scenario Manager dialog box. Click the Add button at the right side of this dialog box to open the Add Scenario dialog box. In the Add Scenario dialog box, type a name for the new scenario into the Scenario Name field. Give it a name that describes the scenario you are modeling. Next, click into the Changing Cells field. Then select the Worksheet Cells to Change for the scenario. You can select up to 32 different worksheet cells to change, which lets you create complex scenarios. You can type a comment about the scenario into the Comment field if desired. When you are ready to proceed, click the OK button. In the Scenario Values dialog box that then appears, enter the values for the selected variable cells in the worksheet. After entering the values to show in this scenario, click the OK button. The new scenario then appears in the list of scenarios within the Scenario Manager dialog box. To show a scenario you have created, select the name of the scenario to view in the Scenario Manager. Then click the Show button. The selected cell values in the worksheet change to the values saved by the scenario. To close the Scenario Manager dialog box and view the changes, click the Close button in the Scenario Manager dialog box. It is important to note that if you want to show the data as it was in the worksheet before displaying the scenario, you may want to create a current values scenario in which you display the values as shown before applying scenarios. That way, you can easily revert the data back to its original state. Otherwise, you will have to click the Undo button to revert the data back to its original values. You can also edit any scenarios you have created to modify the variable values associated with each scenario. To do this, open the Scenario Manager dialog box again. Then select the name of the scenario to modify from the list shown. Then click the Edit button to open the Edit Scenario dialog box. Here you can edit any of the changing cells listed. Then click the OK button and enter any new values needed. Then click the OK button when you are done to save the changed scenario. To delete scenarios you no longer need from the Scenario Manager dialog box, open the Scenario Manager dialog box. Then select the name of the scenario to delete. Then click the Delete button in the Scenario Manager dialog box to instantly remove it. You can also import other scenarios from other worksheets and other workbooks into your current worksheet. However, this is only effective if the changing cells are the same in both worksheets. To merge scenarios, open the workbook from which to import the scenarios. Next, open the worksheet into which to merge the scenarios. Then open the Scenario Manager dialog box and click the Merge button to open the Merge Scenarios dialog box. In the Merge Scenarios dialog box, use the Book drop-down to select the workbook which contains the scenarios to import. You will then view all of the worksheets in the selected workbook. Click any worksheet name in the sheet list and a message then appears at the bottom of the dialog box that tells you how many scenarios are attached to that worksheet. Select the worksheet that contains the scenarios to import. Then click the OK button to import them into the current worksheet. You can also easily compare the different results of scenarios within a scenario report. 
This report shows the different scenarios in the current worksheet, the changing values in each, and the different results they generate. This makes it easy to compare different projections. To create a scenario report, click the Summary button in the Scenario Manager dialog box. Doing this then opens the Scenario Summary dialog box. Click the Option button that represents the type of report to generate, Scenario Summary, or Scenario Pivot Table Report. Next, click into the Results Cells field. Then select the cells within the workbook whose values are changed by the different scenarios. To then create the selected report, click the OK button. The report then appears as a new worksheet in the workbook which you can click to view. The Scenario Summary Report shows the data in an outlined format which you can collapse and expand to compare the data. The Scenario Pivot Table Report shows the same data, but it is laid out as a pivot table report which you can modify to compare the data as desired. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.